Please welcome the CEO of Skytran, the man who's putting it all together, Jerry Sanders. Thank you. Glad to be here. I know it's late, long morning, so I'm going to be quick in my presentation. I'll be as quick as traffic is slow. So as soon as we get our slides up here, there we go. Um, excellent. So we're doing something that most people say is not possible, but of course we all saw it in the Jetsons during the 1950s. Skytran. It's smart transportation for smart cities. You'd be surprised how many people speak about smart cities and then are left with dumb transportation. Congestion. So I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room, and no one has addressed it. This car is an Uber car. This car is a shared car. That car is an electric car. It doesn't matter what kind of car you have. You're all stuck in traffic. And it's been definitively exposed and analyzed that the more space you have on the roadway, the more congestion you get. This is a study out of Duke University and the London School of Economics. It's never been challenged. The more roads you build, the more traffic you get. The more space you make on the roadway, the more traffic you get on that roadway. So saying that we're going to clean this up because we're going to have some Automation in the cars is missing the big picture. People spoke here about incrementalism. That's incrementalism. We need disruption. Congestion leads to pollution. This is what our planet's starting to look like. That can't be good. So what is the solution? Here it is. Industries and to NASA, our uh, Space Act company partner. This is under construction at Israel Aerospace Industries uh, right here. So we're based at the Ames Research Center in California. It's part of the NASA Research Park. We're working, working with Israel Aerospace Industries here as our strategic partner. We're uh, backed by Innovation Endeavors, Eric Schmidt's uh, venture capital arm. Uh, JGM Civil Engineers is our uh, construction partner. And um, it is a totally, completely unique, different system. I want to mention that uh, many cities in Israel, much to our surprise, were first to jump on this bandwagon, including the city of Netanya, which immediately saw the opportunity to bridge both parts of the city, east and west, so that it doesn't become uh, kind of like West Bank Gaza situation. The mayor of Herzliya, the mayors of Tel Aviv, so we're very happy. What's different about SkyTran? Everything is different about SkyTran. Um, let's start. It replaces the heavy road track that we're all familiar with, um, with an elevated guideway, small footprint. All we need is a light pole, and that supports our system. No more polluting engines. We have an electric motor that uh, charges from solar panels on the guideway. No more mechanical moving parts or heavy rubber tires. We use a unique form of magnetic levitation, and I have my uh, patent lawyer here from Novak Drus in uh, Houston, and uh, we don't go anywhere without him uh, because our system is so innovative. We use uh, what I just mentioned, Skytran magnetic levitation. We fly, we literally fly. We're an aircraft, and that's why we're working with Israel Aerospace Industries. When it's at a station, it rests on auxiliary wheels. But uh, once um, you're up to walking speed, the vehicle levitates and has no friction. So as soon as it starts to move, it flies. And it's fail safe because with loss of power, we have uh, many backup uh, settings and we have broad patents covering all of this. I'm going quickly because I know you guys need to get out of here. 
Um, we can go up to 150 miles an hour. We don't stop at any station unless it's your station. We're not stuck in surface traffic as all of those other cars are. So you're never stuck in traffic. You can know exactly how long it's going to take you from LaGuardia to JFK, from Morley to Charles de Gaulle. And it's seamless because you enter and exit the main guideway just like you enter and exit a freeway. All of the stations are off the main line, so when you want to stop, you go off the main line. Because our vehicles are small, the stations can be inside buildings, so you never have to go outside again. You folks are all too young to remember, but I remember 100 years ago, we had to go out to the outhouse. You don't have to do that anymore. It's on demand. The, sift, the software system is a neural software system, so it's constantly learning where vehicles are needed. So within a week or two of operation, it's automatically sending vehicles to the stations where they're required. You can also call one from your smartphone. You can get off and on almost anywhere. We're ADA compliant. It's a green way to travel because we're zero carbon footprint, non-polluting, doesn't burn energy unless we're actually moving people. So it's not like a bus or a train that has to follow a schedule. And by doing so, we can clean up the urban environment. It's a very safe system because you cannot get on it unless the system knows who you are. Indeed, it would be the most stupid suicide bomber who decided to blow himself up within one of these vehicles because it's a single person vehicle. It's private, it gives you total comfort. Nobody's gonna be reading your emails or listening to your phone conversations. And um, it's really different because the costs are a magnitude, an order of magnitude less than any other competing system. Now we've been very conservative in these numbers because we know that some of these are actually much greater than what we're presenting here. And our costs are below $9 million. So uh, Skytran is keeping the planet blue. We're working hard to do that. Thank you very much.